Hello guys. So, uh, looking at the daily chart for the Nasdaq. So this is the running flag, and I won't waste any of your precious time. So this is a running flag, and this is down, and this is the other wave. So it's sort of a A, B. Oh, sorry, A, B, and then C. So if we look into the four hours, we can see that this is a running flag, which has broken down. And this is a A, this is a B, and now this has gone down in C. So clearly the three waves are done for the down wave in the correction. Now, there are guys who are constantly saying that we are going to crash, right? They are, they are saying that we are going to go down like this. It's not going to happen. Maybe it will do a little bit down, but the three waves are done. The three waves are done. And now, after maybe a little bit down, or not, it will do another up till here, maybe to make this inver uh, to make this head and shoulders type structure, and then it will do another down, and then everybody will be jumping up and down. That market is crashing, but over there back then we will create a bottom, and then after that market will rock it up. So this is this is what is going to happen in my opinion. So after this, a catastrophic down move like this. After this, a catastrophic down move like this, where everybody will be saying now we are done, and then we will create the bottom, and this will again be the end of fourth wave. So the structure or behavior of the fourth wave will remain the same. Just it will get a bit complex. And then we will go up. So this, I think, is going to happen. And it, I think it's going to take maybe 10 or 15 days more, 10 or 15 days more for this to pan out. So if you are a long-term trader, then you should wait for this, this structure to long. And if it makes a higher low, then it's the best thing for us. Then it will be a good long and it will be a very safe long. Otherwise, in, even if it breaks this low, it wouldn't change a thing and it will still be up. So I, this, I think, in my opinion, is going to happen in the fourth wave. And in the ES, same sort of thing will play out something like this and then up. So we need to see. I will be trading intraday 15 minutes uh, time frame pieces by pieces till this mess is over. And then I will see what happens. It's not going to crash from here that I'm sure of. I made a mistake by not identifying this running flat properly. This was my undoing. Even though it was giving all the signals which you can see from the naked eye. But I don't trade signals from the trading view. I was trading from my Python script. So that was a mistake. And anyway, so this is going to happen that S&P 500 for the next 10 or 15 days will do something like this and then up. Maybe a bottom, it will make a flag and then up. So let's see what happens. <laughs> 